Welcome back everyone. Today we're checking out my Rise of the Beast shelf. It is fully complete. Wow, my hand is super shiny today. But yeah, every single Studio Series figure that I could possibly want or need, I have now. And now looking back at it on my most popular video, let's check out how this shelf has withstood. So the shelf has uh, gone under a few changes where the figures have been. The Autobots have pretty much always been here. I used to have the Maximals back here, but now they're over here where the Terracons used to be. Scorpnock used to be in uh, Scorpion mode right there, um, but that's changed. Now he's in robot mode, because I think his robot mode looks better. I'll probably end up getting the Studio Series version when I get the chance for cheaper, um, but for right now, this one, I'm really happy with this one. Um, but I thought it was pretty cool. You guys probably don't know this, but there's a lot of, like, connections that you can make where each of these figures are. So, first of all, Mirage and Noah. Noah and Prime. Um, then you look at, uh, Wheeljack and RC. They were pretty together. And then you have Optimus and Scourge, who are right behind each other. Then you have Chiro on a cliff, right by Mirage here, who's the closest Autobot. And then you see uh, Optimus Primal, who is a recent acquisition of mine. He's standing in the river, like that iconic scene of Primal pointing at him. Um, and that's, I think that's it. <laughs> um, if you guys notice any other things, I mean, I guess you could think of Scourge, like, when in that opening scene when he was in the forest. But yeah, I mean, I never expected this shelf to come out as well as it has. I'm really happy. This has been one of my favorite Transformer movie lines to collect, if not the the most fun, because there's just such a variety in things. Like, normally with the Bayverse movies, it would be pretty much all the same sort of stuff. But here, you get to just enjoy so many different things. Uh, and it's just awesome. From three different factions, the Terracons, Predacon, um, Autobots, and Maximals. I hope we get a rat trap. Um, that would be great. But everything else here is fantastic. Now, what are my favorite figures on the shelf? Well, let's talk about Primal. He's great. I like Optimus. I love Bumblebee. And I like Scourge's robot mode. But those are probably my top... I'd, I'd say these are my top three. Um... But yeah, you guys will be getting a full video later on the retrospective on the Maximals and the retrospective on the Autobots, because now we have all of them. Unless we get Stratosphere. Now, where am I going to put Stratosphere if they ever make one? Probably right here. Oh, there's Freezer, by the way. He's just chilling out back there because, you know, Scourge, Freezer, you know. Um, yeah. Am I going to make any other additions to the shelf? Probably not. Unless I make, like, a custom. This is probably... All, all I'm going to do. If you guys have any suggestions or anything, like, I don't normally display things in alt mode. I like displaying things in robot mode, but I think for Rise of the Beast, I, I made a good exception here. And I think it looks really good this way. With all of my customs, I'm planning to do a custom on him, a recustom on him. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know what you think. What do you think? Should I display these guys in robot, or should I display them in maximal mode? Max. Uh, beast mode, that's what it's called. But I do have ideas for my next diorama. So I could do one on my Bumblebee movie shelf, which is um, growing still. I got Megatron on the way, Shockwave. I'm going to get, be getting Rumble and Core Starscream. And are there, oh, and Sunstreaker. So yeah, this shelf will be growing. And so it'll probably need its own diorama. Because I think where I have everything is pretty fixed. So that's one option. Or, my Beast Wars. Now there's a lot more figures, so it's gonna be a lot more difficult. But you guys let me know which of the two. I think I wanna do the Bumblebee movie one. It'll be easier and way cooler than Beast Wars because I think you won't be able to be able, you won't be able to appreciate, there we go, I got all the words out. Uh, you won't be able to appreciate all of the diorama and all of the figures at the same time. So yeah, outside of that, I haven't made many other additions to my collections since I made the collection video. 
Um, I have gotten some Masterpiece figures. I still have Red Alert to open. I've gotten some other guys here. Hopefully, I'm, I might try to get Masterpiece Shockwave to go here. Um, I have put the Nemesis here. He, he's been there. Um, stuff has fallen over there, which is annoying. I don't think I've gotten anything new. Oh, well, I've gotten a Bumblebee and Optimus Prime stands back there. Um, I, I got Jetfire for the shelf. That's not permanent. He's just there for now. Uh, what else did I get? Um, I'm looking. Oh, well, I got, uh, Transformers Prime Megatron, who has been customized and everything. He looks super good. And I got Nitro, the, the glare, Nitro Zeus for this shelf. This is my favorite shelf right now. I know the video is about this, but this is still my favorite shelf. Um, this is also another one of my favorite shelves. But, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I've gotten. Wait, is he, is he stuck down here? Where is he? Here he is. Come on up. Don't hide. Oh! I dropped my phone. There we go. That's better. That's also a new addition. Um, but yeah, that's about all I've got for you today. It's a pretty, pretty quick one. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys Saturday for my toy hunt video that will finally be coming out.